Okay, so I'll show you how this uh, watch, the watch, quote unquote, works. It's just a, a micro bit, a BBC micro bit. These, um, woo, these retail for about 10 bucks a piece. What I've done is um, I've got a Timex watch that's not working right now, and I just stuck some Velcro to it, Velcro to the other side of this. You Velcro it on. Hello, Zach. You can get out of the way, please. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it's Velcroed onto the watch, so it straps onto the wrist. I was originally thinking about um, using a glove, but I got a workout glove here, but I'm figuring grandma's probably attached to a few IVs. My glove might not work that well, uh, but she can probably turn her wrist. Originally, I was going to try and make a custom mount for this, but then I realized, well, the watch is pretty good, so why not go with it? So uh, this is just hooked up to the computer. I've got uh, a wire here. This is just USB. And uh, how it works is I'm gonna, when it turns on by default, it's set in calibration mode. First thing you calibrate is side to side motion. So I will lay this flat and calibrate then turn it as far as my wrist can go and calibrate. Then you calibrate the pitch. So I'm gonna hold my wrist basically flat and then up to the maximum angle and then calibrate one last time. And now it's set in a mode where I can test it so I can move it all around and just see how it responds. Yep, that feels pretty good. And then live. So now uh, the thing is live, so now I can run the text prediction. Uh, if I run it again, let's see, how's this one feel? Uh, this one's a little bit more jumpy because I've given it less range, but I'm going to say, hi, I need your help. And then press this button here. I need your help. That is so bizarre. That is so bizarre that I'm using the computer to give somebody a voice. Whew. All right. Uh, we'll see how this runs tomorrow. I might tweak it a little bit more, but I kind of want to go to the gym, and I also haven't really eaten since breakfast. So, yeah, let's go do other things. Um, maybe put the code online. Maybe somebody can learn from it. I don't know. Anyway, um, have a good night, y'all.